Welcome to Create the Best Me. I am Carmen Hecox, a personal development coach, and I am so excited to be connecting with you today. Whether you're listening to the podcast or joining us on YouTube, my goal is to help women navigate through midlife challenges with compassion, inspiration, and empowering conversation. Each week, we'll dive into thought-provoking topics designed to build self-confidence, overcome invisible women syndrome, and find the courage to create the best version of yourself. I'll also be joined by expert guests who will share the wisdom and insights. So make yourself comfortable and let's embark on this journey together. Well, hello there, fearless midlife trailblazers. Welcome to Create the Best Me. If you are new here, I'm so glad you made it here. If you're a returning listener, welcome back to the one and only place where we encourage and empower women in midlife to pursue their dream and live life to the fullest. I am Carmen Hecox, your host and personal development coach. Today, we're going on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment, focusing on health changes women face during midlife and the steps we can take to reduce or control the risks. It's a big topic, but together we'll navigate through it. So let's break it down. We'll start by exploring the biological changes that come along during midlife. Next, we'll dive into some specific health risks that we need to stay mindful of. Third, we're going to chat about the dietary nutrition and lifestyle shifts we can adopt to counter these risks. Fourth, we're focusing on the often overlooked mental and emotional health side of things. Lastly, we'll pull everything together into a comprehensive, easy to follow action plan. Let's create the best us, shall we? All right, my friends, the first step in our journey is understanding the biological changes that our bodies undergo during midlife. As many of you know, our bodies are amazingly complex and they undergo significant transformation during this phase of life. So let's take a deep dive into the transformation and what it means for us. Around midlife, Typically, in our 40s or 50s, many women enter a phase called perimenopause. This is a transition period that leads us to menopause, which is the time when menstrual periods stop permanently, signaling the end of our reproductive years. During menopause, which can last from a few months or up to 10 years, our ovaries gradually start reducing the production of estrogen and progesterone, two hormones critical for reproduction. And it's this fluctuation in hormone levels that leads to some of the common symptoms associated with this phase, hot flash, night sweats, mood swings, and changes in menstrual patterns. But these are just visible changes. Underneath the surface, these hormonal changes can often affect our cholesterol level, our bone density, and even the health of our heart. So this period of change is about more than just what's happening in our reproductive system. It's a change that affects our whole body. Remember, each woman's experience is unique. Some may have a relatively smooth transition, while others may face a more challenging. Understanding these changes is the first step in maintaining them effectively. Moving into the next segment, let's delve deeper into some specific health risks that become more pronounced during this phase and how we can effectively manage them. Our bodies are changing, but remember, we are strong, capable and equipped to handle these changes. So as we transition from the biological changes, let's delve deeper into the health risks associated with these transformations. Awareness is the first step toward prevention, and I want you to be armed with all the information you need. 
The decline in estrogen levels during perimenopause can significantly increase the risk for certain health conditions. The first one we'll discuss is heart disease. You see, estrogen has a protective effect on our hearts, and as its levels drop, we may see an increase in LDL, our bad cholesterol, and a decrease in the HDL, the good cholesterol. This shift can lead to buildup of plaques in our arteries, increase the risk of heart disease. Then there's osteoporosis, a condition where our bones become weak and brittle. Estrogen plays a crucial role in maintaining bone density, and its declining during midlife can lead to accelerated bone loss. Breast cancer is another concern for women in midlife. While the reasons aren't entirely clear, many women discover they have breast cancer during their menopause years, and two-thirds of invasive breast cancers are found in women 55 years or older. Lastly, but no means least, the risk of diabetes. Weight gain is common during midlife, and increased body fat, especially around the abdominal, is linked to insulin resistance and diabetes. Now, this might seem daunting, but remember, early detection is key, and the power of prevention is immense. Regular health checkups, screenings, and open dialogues with your healthcare provider can truly be a world of a difference. Now, we can't stop these changes. We can definitely influence how they impact us. That's where our next segment comes in. It's all about diet, nutrition, and lifestyle changes. Let's move forward with positivity and a plan. As we transition into the next segment, let's focus on the powerful tool that we have within our control, our diet and lifestyle. The right nutrition and daily habits can have a profound impact on how we navigate through these midlife changes. Let's start with diet. Foods rich in calcium and vitamin D are critical during this time as they can help slow down bone loss and reduce the risk of osteoporosis. So think dairy products, leafy greens, fish-like, salmon, and mackerel. We also need to consider heart-healthy foods due to the increased risk of heart disease. This means plenty of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats found in foods like avocados, nuts, and seeds. It's equally important to reduce our intake of processed foods and sugars, which can contribute to weight gain and insulin resistance, increasing the risk of diabetes. Then comes physical activity. Regular exercise can help maintain a healthy weight, reduce stress, improve sleep, and even boost your mood. It can also strengthen our bones and heart. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate physical activities most days of the week. Find something you enjoy, be it yoga, swimming, dancing, or simply a brisk walk. While we're shaping our bodies and nourishing them with the right foods, it's critical not to overlook the mental and emotional aspect of our health. Our next segment dives into this often overlooked but equally important facet of our midlife journey. Let's explore it together. As we delve into the next segment, let's remember that our well-being extends beyond just the physical. Our mental and emotional health is just as critical during this time of change, and we need to nurture it with equal care. The hormone shifts during midlife can influence our mood, potentially leading to feeling of anxiety or depression. We may also be navigating significant life changes like children leaving our home or caring for aging parents that can add emotional strain. So how do we navigate these changes? The first step is to acknowledge them. It's okay not to always be okay. 
reach out to loved ones or professionals if you need to talk. Don't underestimate the power of a good conversation. Next, make stress management a priority. Whether it's through yoga, deep breathing, exercise, a good book, or even a relaxing bath, find what helps you unwind and make it part of your routine. Maintaining a healthy social life can also do wonders for your emotional health. Regular interaction with friends, family, participating in group activities, or volunteering can bring about feelings of connection and happiness. Finally, consider practice mindfulness and meditation. These tools can help you manage stress, increase focus, and boost your mood, making them an invaluable part of your mental health toolkit. Now that we've explored the physical, nutritional, and emotional facets of navigating this life, let's bring it all together. Our final segment today will be about creating an actionable, realistic plan that encapsulates everything we've discussed. Let's create the best you together. Before we conclude, if you are enjoying this content, please make sure to hit subscribe and stay updated on the future episodes. Your support means a lot. Welcome to the final stretch of our journey today, my friends. We've armed ourselves with knowledge and understanding, and it's time to transform that into action. Our plan starts with regular health checkups. These include screenings for heart health, bone density tests, mammograms, blood glucose levels. Make sure to have these discussions with your healthcare provider and schedule them as recommended. Next, let's reevaluate our diet. Incorporate foods rich in calcium and vitamin D to help combat bone loss. Make your plate colorful with fruits and vegetables. Include lean proteins and don't forget those heart healthy fats. At the same time, aim to reduce processed foods and sugar. Physical activity is a non-negotiable. Find a form of exercise you love and make it part of your daily routine. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate activity on most days, but remember, every bit counts. Finally, Make time for your mental and emotional well-being. Engage in stress-relieving activities, maintaining a healthy social life, and consider practices like mindfulness and meditation. And most importantly, remember that it's okay to seek help when you need it. Remember, this is your journey, and this plan is yours to customize. Small, consistent changes can lead to significant impacts. Let's move forward with positivity and a can-do attitude. And there you have it. Today, we ventured into understanding the midlife changes we face as women, the associated health risks, and the lifestyle modifications that can help us reduce these risks. Remember, these changes are part of life's journey, and while they may seem daunting with the right knowledge and approach, we can navigate through them gracefully. If you want to learn more about today's topic, head on over to createthebestme.com forward slash EP025, where I have additional information that I didn't share in today's episode. Don't forget to come back next week because i our guest will be Dr. Herma Murdy. Herma is an author, advanced yoga instructor, certified personal trainer, nutrition coach, and an aerospace engineer. She is also the CEO and founder of Get Shanti. Her secret talent is helping women over 50 get rid of their aches and pains so they can live an enjoyable life. Remember, your health is your wealth. Take care of it nurture it, and watch as it rewards you with a life full of vitality and happiness. If you found this episode helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. 
and hit the bell icon for more empowering content just like this. If you enjoyed this episode, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And remember, each day is an opportunity to create the best you. So let's seize it. Until then, keep dreaming big, take care of yourself, and remember, you are beautiful, strong, and capable of creating the best version of yourself. Thank you for watching. Catch you next week. Bye for now.